On the other hand, it would have been much more interesting if it had gotten there by following a path like this. <clears throat> Say, wow. Something must have made it do that. It wouldn't have just done that all by itself. Something must have interacted with it, some object in the surroundings, to make it change. Now, here its velocity is much more interesting because let's think about what its velocity looks like on this trip. Let's see. When it's right here, so here's the object. What's, what's the direction of its velocity? Can you just point with your finger? Yeah. Okay, it's going this way, isn't it? So we'll call that V. What about when it's right here? What's the direction of its velocity? Yeah, now it's going that way, isn't it? Let's say it actually maybe it was going faster. Okay, when it's here, what's the direction of velocity? Velocity is going to be tangent to the path everywhere, isn't it? So here's a V, and here's another V, and here's another V. Maybe it went faster. So the fact that this object's velocity is changing so much tells us something that, that's, that's hinting towards our very first important physics principle, which is going to be the momentum principle. In terms of velocity, Isaac Newton actually basically said this in what you've probably heard is Newton's first law. And what he said is something close to this. He said, an object is going to move in a straight line at constant speed, boring, except to the extent that it interacts with other objects in the surroundings. So if it's not going at constant speed in a straight line, we know that there's some interaction going on, and that's interesting because that's where physics happens. That's where changes happen, and that's what we're interested in. So what we're going to be looking for <coughs> is deciding if there is an interaction going on by looking at motion, seeing if Speed. Now, he said constant speed or, or straight line. So notice that there are two ways velocity can change. The object can go faster or slower, or it can turn. Okay, Turning is a change in velocity because direction is changing. So that's going to be an extremely important thing that we're going to watch for, and we'll start there next time.